Blimey, are you guys just getting up? We've been up for ages, haven't we? Yes, for eight o'clock. Wakey, wakey! Morning! How are you doing, guys? Are you well? Are you alright? Did you have a good evening last night? Well, uh, this morning we got up bright and early. Um, <laughs> you Susan, haven't? yeah, well, no, we got up really early. Shh, don't, don't give away the secrets. Um, and Susanna, even though I'd cleaned last night, did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Did you clean this morning? No. You? Did you clean, clean the flat? No. Are you lying? Me, I never clean. She cleaned the flat for another hour, hour and a half. I told you she would, didn't I? Told you. Anyway, so now today we are going into town and um, we're going to go get some yeast because she wants to make a cake. Uh, what else are we doing? Um, we're buying some bits and pieces. Oh, and I'm sure we'll go for a coffee at some point as well. So uh, let's go do our errands, shall we? Off to a Christmas party tonight and what else could put you in the mood other than Christmas carols? So then tonight we're going to Susanna's old workplace's Christmas party, so she's bought herself some new earrings. Show them off, show them off. There we go. Looking very spangly. Uh, and then we've just come for a coffee now. I've got my hot chocolate, we've got a cake. Susanna's got a latte. And because I have my extra special saver card, it cost us £1.75. How brilliant is that? Okay, so Susanna has been uh, Chef Susanna this afternoon. And here's what she's been getting up to. It's ended up like this. In fact, I'm just going to get out of the oven now. So there it is. That, that's what she's been cooking. Just turn the oven off so that it, it doesn't burn anymore. In fact, it's not burnt at all. There we go. Oh, what's this called? Hmm? Zoska, what is this called? German cake. It's called German cake. So there you go. It's got apples and almonds and all sorts of stuff in there. Cinnamon, vanilla essence. Or is it something on vanilla anyway? Uh, so we're going to eat that tomorrow uh, when we've got some friends coming over. Tonight though, we're going to a Christmas party, so I'm going to finish getting myself sorted. Okay, so I don't know if you've had this issue yourself at all. I'm going to talk you through a little bit of my life, basically. Um, a few years ago, I used to be... In fact, I'm just going to sit you down there. A few years ago, I used to be really quite big. In fact, I was... Let me work this out. About 45... 46 kilos heavier than I am now, which is around about a hundred pounds there or thereabouts Which is admittedly quite a lot bigger than I am now now I lost a lot of weight and I've been exercising and All the clothes that I've grown out of I've given to charity shops and that kind of thing However, one or two bits and pieces I've kept but because I've been exercising Different things have been happening to my body. My waist has been getting smaller, my chest has been getting bigger, that kind of thing. Now, for some reason, it would seem that people who design clothes don't design for everybody. They're just designed for a mass market, which is fair enough. But how do you get around having a chest that's still the size of somebody who, when I had my 42-inch waist, I had a 48-inch chest. I've now got a 46-inch chest, but a 32-inch waist. So how do, how do you get clothes for that? Because if I just give Susanna the camera for one second, can you just hold this for one second, honey? Can you just wait there for one minute? I've got a jacket. Now if I put the jacket on, okay, 
it kind of looks okay. Um, can you see me? Yeah. It kind of looks okay, but I've got all this room here, and it doesn't fit my waist, but it fits my chair. I think I look a little bit like I'm wearing a clown suit. Does anybody know where you can get stuff that's a little bit more fitted without having to pay an absolute fortune to get somebody to, to make something specifically for me? Because right now I feel like Krusty the Clown. Is that slightly over the top on Christmas lights? Can't see them anymore, there's a van in the way, but I think it is. Here we are then, into where we're having our Christmas party tonight. These look really pretty. Poshy, poshy. <laughs> poshy, poshy. It's posh. <laughs> what does Clarence's house look like? It does look a bit like Clarence's house, actually, just a lot smaller. Yeah. Right, we'll see you in there. So here we are then, first Christmas party of the year in this great big stately home thing. Look at that. That's a bit of a, a feature window, I think. Anyway, um, it's time for some food, and I am absolutely famished. I've been kind of starving myself all day, so I better get low. Okay, then we are home, being quiet because it's quite late. We're home from the Christmas party, our first Christmas party of the year. Did you have a nice time? Yeah, it's great. I got yeah. a new job too. <laughs> Let's not go that far yet. Oh, careful. Done. Have you been drinking? No. Actually, yes, you have. <laughs> You're all right there, honey. Anyway, so we, we are home. Um, lovely meal tonight. Another Indian, even after the Indian I made last night, but it was very, very nice. Um, and now we're going to go in and we're going to open the third door of the advent calendar because I forgot we haven't opened it yet. And Susanna gets to open it today. Okay then, it's advent calendar time, even though it's actually the fourth, so we should actually open two doors, we won't. There's the third. Can you find the third? Can you see it? Anywhere? Anywhere? I'm looking at it right now. There we go, okay, so, you need to open the third up. Watch her tear it open just to get to the chocolate. Mm. Here we go. She's already mm. stuffing her face with cake anyway. Oh, there we go, she's torn it open the wrong direction again. <laughs> what chocolate have you got? What is it? Christmas. It's a Christmas tree! Yay, it and what's says... it says? What's it say on the on the thing? Can you can you guess what I would like for Christmas? Can I guess what you would like for Christmas? I can, but I can't say because otherwise that would ruin my surprise for you. So yes, I can guess what you would like for Christmas. Right, time to get ready for bed. Right, I don't know about you, but I am losing my voice. I'm tired, and I've got a cup of tea to drink before I go to sleep. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. She's going to put her dress away. Which may I just add tonight before I go to sleep and you go. She looked fine. She looked so hot tonight. She really did. Uh, anyway, time to sleep. See you tomorrow when we're going out again. Wow, we are social animals. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Night night. You're watching Stop Jabbing On. Shut up, you slugging here, stop jabbing on, like what up?